Good evening and welcome to Paw Spare Time. How is everyone doing on this fine Monday? Hello CLMK. Hello Mr. Turtle Turtle. Good to see you buddy. Hi Michael Fallis, Sam CB. Sam CB, you won a giveaway and didn't claim it, I think. Let me look at my list. Yes. Coin Somniacs. You, I cannot find an email from you, Sam CB. I hung on to it for another week, but please, Sam CB, send me an email. I don't want to put it, let it go. Hello, Brian Rollins. Hello, Michael Erickson. Good to see you. Dreadpool 26. Plumber Stacker King Can Raid. Boy, did I just log on in time then. I think you might have forgot, Sam. I think you might have forgot. Just W, hello. Thank you for the raid from Can Can. Sir Benji, good evening. Muscle Shell. Uh, you've won a few times, Muscle Shell. Not as frequently as some people, though. Mary Belisle, good to see you. Native Warrior. Eric Bell. Or Nicole Wenzel, hello. Plumber Stacker. Averkirk, good to see you. Sharkbait Lucky, thank you for the raid from Can Can. Janelle Sonata, Sir Gold, good evening, good to see you. Glad I wasn't bidding against you tonight, Sir Gold. I was watching a movie with Grammy. I checked in on Can Can a couple times. I tried to win that lovely the 61 uh, Continental uh, Silver Bar. That was awesome that uh, Donna Helton donated back. Can Can, good to see you. I just got on because I was going to get on at 10, but I had my buddy Can Can was streaming on the West Coast. My buddy Baseman64 was streaming in Texas, and I thought, you know, I'll just wait. Maybe I won't even stream tonight, and then I thought, I gotta stream, I'll just stream later. So I did stream later. Jack of Hearts, good to see you. Will Chesley, good to see you. Joe Layton, Stephen Verdell, Plumber Stacker, Barbara R., good to see you. Man, get raided in the first, like, two minutes of coming on screen. That's pretty darn good. I like that. I like that. Hey, Donna Helton. Nice of you to donate that beautiful uh, silver bar back a while ago. That was a nice one. It was pretty. Boy, when Can Can sends a raid, they show up. I'm telling you. Had my first live test stream today, Sir Benji. Going to stream Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Wish me luck. All right, Sir Benji, good luck. I'll try to swing in. Thursday's another movie night with Grammy, but I'll try to swing in and see you. But good luck with your stream. So uh, Paul is starting late. Paul has a lot of boxes, though. A lot of boxes. Sharkbait Lucky, we got that 2009 cop around. It's awesome. Thank you, Sharkbait Lucky. I like that one. It's got Paul's cabin on it. Uh, thank you, Turtle Turtle, for putting up King Ken's uh, link. If y'all aren't hooked up with Can Can and watching his channel, you're missing out. It's a good channel. Brian Rollins, what we're doing is uh, we've been watching Netflix. We used to go to a lot of movies, but with COVID, we haven't been able to. So we go to, uh, we've been watching Netflix, and right now we have just started, I think on episode four, of Salvation on uh, Netflix. the uh, It's a series, Salvation on Netflix. So far, interesting, could love the premise, could be better written. Sometimes we do movies, sometimes we do series. Bill Cheslick, that's right, hit that thumbs up, man. Oh, Donna Helton, yes I did. I was on Can Can and thanked you guys earlier, but Donna Helton and Can Can sent me. I was bidding on Can Can's channel against, I think, Donna Helton for a uh, an innovation round. It's in the other room, or I would show it right now. But uh, 
they sent me, and I lost, Donna Helton won, um, they sent me a uh, Massachusetts uh, dollar innovation round in a slab in CGS uh, with a, uh, a 70 grade. And it is gorgeous. So Donna Helton and King Can, thank you for that. I will show that off in the next stream. I opened it sitting in my chair in the TV room tonight and I left it in there. But uh, very, very awesome, Donna. Tiger King. You know, we started Tiger King and we didn't get through it. Um, Michael Erickson, I've already said hi to you. Hello, Rob Wenzel, Walter Winner. Um... Who else do we have? Who else? I found 75 double dies in Kennedy House. That's a lot of double dies, Stephen Fardell. Now, if you find a 1975 uh, Kennedy, that would be awesome. All right, so let's get down to business. What Paul does on Coinsomniacs night, and you say, what's Coinsomniacs? Coinsomniacs is something Paul came up with. Because I had my thyroid out several years ago, and I don't sleep worth a darn most of the time. So I thought, I'll stream late at night for other coin-interested people that also cannot sleep. And Paul had some stickers made that look a lot like what's on the stream. Like exactly what's on the stream with some additional stuff. And this is Coinsomniac. So on Wednesday, uh, Monday and Wednesday nights right now, it may not always be Mondays because... I got a couple buddies streaming on Monday, so I don't know what to do, um, except start later, and that's what I'm doing tonight, is uh, if somebody gets skunked on our Saturday night half dollar stream, I give them a choice of uh, taking skunk silver, They can, if they've got a full box, they can take a Morgan or Peace dollar, or they can take a mulligan box, and a mulligan box simply means they can pick another box on a Coinsomniac night and open it. And uh, we'll search it, and if uh, they get to keep anything, we find. So uh, most people choose the uh, the mulligan box, and that's cool. But uh, Paul now has 12 mulligan boxes outstanding because Paul also gave some mulligan boxes to his great moderators. So we do that. If we ever don't have any mulligan boxes pending, which happened last Wednesday, then uh, we'll either take donations or Paul will just open boxes and we'll give away what we find. So Paul will have giveaways at the end of the stream. We're going to do two boxes tonight, two mulligan boxes tonight. And then uh, at the end of the stream, Paul will come up with some giveaways and uh, we will give some stuff to uh, whoever's still hanging with us. Hello, James Robinson, Minnesota Joe. Y'all just about snuck by me. Uh, Janie L., good evening. Barbara R. been up since 6.30 a.m. Good night, Barbara. Get some sleep. Kay Titus from Japan. Good to see you. Cody Bird. We have 34 people. So, my mulligan list. And I wrote down Silva Palooza because somebody had the idea of Silva Palooza as a, uh, a good name for a party. And if when Paul gets around to filling out or doing an uh, announcement video for Saturday's live stream, uh, I will tell you all about it. But let's, this is my mulligan list. These are my moderators over here. Because the paying customers go first, the moderators go second. Jim Cantor sent me a note and said he couldn't be here tonight. He is visiting a friend in the hospital. So I did see Michael Erickson. I don't think Walker Magnet's here. And I do have the go-ahead from Walker Magnet to go ahead and do his box in his absence. But since Michael Erickson's here, uh, is Stan Horn here? I don't know if I haven't seen Stan. And then we've got Woozy. But let's uh, start with uh, Michael Erickson. Would you like to do your 20 rolls of your mulligan box tonight, Michael Erickson? Michael Erickson, would you, are you still here? One. K. Titus, a mulligan is a golf term. Uh, it's not a legal part of the game of golf. But when you hit a shot in golf and you hit a bad shot, Somebody will say, take a mulligan, and that means hit another ball. You didn't hit that one very good. So a, uh, a mulligan is here is uh, a mulligan is um, the term that we have stolen to say it's like a do-over. Okay, so Nicole Wenzel will do Walker Magnet in the second box tonight, 
Uh, we'll do Michael Erickson first, and then I will do uh, Stan Horn. We'll get the, the uh, second 30 rolls, and then we will do Walker Magnet. So that will be the order. We'll do Stan Horn, uh, Michael Erickson and Stan Horn, and then we will do Walker Magnet. Um, so, the only boxes, Michael uh, Erickson, that I am not going to let us pick tonight is we're going to protect the P boxes since they saved our bacon on Saturday night. We are not picking the P boxes. So P1, 2, and 9 are not available, but everything else on the page is available. We have box NC1, 2, 10, and 12. And the NC boxes have been 4 of 10. That's one I got 15. Uh, they are 4 of 10 for finding silver. Uh, we have uh, box B1 and 2. They do have tape on them. B5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. The B boxes are 1 for 3 finding silver. Uh, box 2. No, not box 2. Uh, we have found a 90 and we have found a proof. I think that was box 7. In the B boxes, we have the A boxes, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've only tried one A box, A5, and it did not have silver. We've got the TT boxes for Turtle Turtle, 1 through 5, well, 1 through 6, and 8 through 10. We've only tried one of those, and it did not have silver. But those are A1. Shut up, Paul. I already said A1. <laughs> All right, Michael, we will pick box A1. A1, and Paul currently has like 30-some boxes, so Paul needs to get some boxes back to the bank. I've got a very whitewash look, it looks like, and it always happens when I put uh, something white up there. But we will go A1. Let me grab A1. A1 is on top, Michael Erickson. That's a good pick. We do have Hudson's camera up there with his, uh, his Iron Man has been reassembled. His cold Iron Man. Wait, that's TT10. How did I walk over to get A1 and walk back with TT10? Swing and a miss. Hey, that's why I show them to you. Let's try the one I went after. TD boxes could still be good boxes. A1. All right, Michael Erickson. You will get to pick the starting point, and you get 20 rolls. Good luck. No matching silver. No trading in in IFCs. You just get what you find on... A mulligan box, it's kind of a continuation of your hunt from Saturday night. Hmm. Pa does not see, I do not see anything silvery looking in A1. Let us flip these. I know you can't see them all, but Paul's got to get a little bit of an angle to be able to flip them. So I'll put it back so you can see. Something that looks a little different right there I don't know if it's silver or not but it looks a little different could be whitewashed Paul really doesn't want any more whitewashed rolls ever let's see what this is at the 1971 unfortunately 
So, no obvious silver. That one looks a little different than its brethren out there. Um, but uh, I can't say as it looks silver. It looks just a little different. This is roll 1, 11, 21, 31, 41. 21 is the one that looks a little bit different. Michael Erickson, pick your starting roll. Hello, John Jacobs. Uh, Paul is here by himself, so uh, if you're trying to get my attention, be sure and tag me so it shows up on orange of my screen so I can say howdy and not miss you. Hello, Southern Metal. Good to see you. Paul was trying to wait out uh, the bass man and Can Can streams to end, and I think I came pretty close to that since we're just starting. And I see Southern Metal. Michael Erickson, did you tell me and I missed it? I don't see it. Roll 1, 11, 21 looks a little different. 31, 41. Oh, Avercurt says, I think I want to start out being stream boss. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much, Avercurt. We appreciate you. I have to look back and see. I got to turn on Streamlabs. Give me a second. Lucky that worked. I appreciate the, the uh, super sticker very much. Let me do, what am I going to do? That. Let me do that. Let me check my settings. All right. I did do that. I thought I did. Let me get back to the cloud bot. Let me get back to the stream. All right. Michael Erickson. Michael Erickson. Ah, 20 to 40. All right. 20 to 40. Starting with 20. Ending with 40. Let's get these all up here. Out the box. So I don't mess it up. Oh, Plumber Stacker says, not so fast. I want to be stream boss. And let's find some silver. I couldn't agree more. All right. Wait a minute. I took one too many. Twenty through forty. Ah, it's because twenty through forty. How about 21 through 40? Would that be okay? That would be 20 rolls. 21 through 40. That leaves 30 for Stan Horn. Michael Erickson, are you okay with 21 through 40 instead of, or would you rather have 20 through 41? That's what works out to be 20 rolls. Paul can still count. All right, box cam's working. I need Hudson's bucket that he left over here because he was doing the searching. I've got it. I'm gonna put my list on the box cam so I don't steal from it. Southern Metal just stopped in to say hello. Baseman is still hunting. Five. Oh, he is still hunting. I didn't totally wait him out then. All right. Well, I came as close as I could, Southern Metal. He mentioned something about starting late, so I don't know what I missed. Evidently something, though. I must have bumped my camera, too. Let's try that. Let's try that. All right, I'm going to do 21 through 40. For you, Michael Erickson, I don't see you. Oh, 
because I've got my uh, chat stuck. Silly Paul. You say thumbs up. There are only so many hours in a day. That's true, Southern Metal. Only so many hours in a day. Need to spend as many of them as possible being a good human being. Where's my screwdriver? I've got a screwdriver. 35 watching, 33 likes. Here we go. This is the odd looking ender. This is the odd looking ender for Michael Erickson. Here we go. Hello, Bionic Bull 88. Good to see you, DA Sales. Put my eyes over here where I can see. One of these days, I'm going to look down and roll one is going to have silver in it. And I'm going to be so surprised. So surprised. Baseman found a 1987S. Boy, got a reflection. Uh, on his stream tonight, just like we did on Saturday. But his was like uh, mint condition. Gotta love a mint condition. I might have to blow this up. I don't, I probably have to blow that up. I appreciate the second chance, regardless of outcome. You're welcome, Michael Erickson. Good luck, brother. Let me blow up my screen. It's blown up. It's blown up. I shrunk it down for the penny hunt and I gotta blow it back up. Let's see how that looks now. Oh, yeah. If that were to be a DDO, I could certainly tell it. And it's not. It's not. Hello, American Eagle Hoarder. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm trying to find something for Michael Erickson. We skunked him horribly bad on uh, Saturday night. So we are going to try to do better. Paul got all of his shipping packaged and ready to go, except for everyone with a mulligan box. If you've got a mulligan box, I am got your shipment right behind me to uh, ship out after we look for your silver one more time. So I realized the last couple weeks that I was shipping twice to you all, and that just seemed silly. Especially if the second time only had a coin or two. So we would just wait a couple days and combine them. The people we do tonight, yours will go out tomorrow with the rest of it. But I uh, was happy to get everything packaged up. Always feels good to get the shipping ready to go to the bank and be done. Southern Metal could attest to that. Got to get back to Basement Stream. All right. Good luck to everyone over at Basement Stream. Send them this way when you're done with them, Southern Metal. Have a good evening and good luck. Baseman's got a full board over there tonight. He got into some silver. Said he had four rolls in a row that uh, he had fines in. I am using my penny mat tonight because I had the uh, silver mat is taped down over in Hudson's spot because if I don't tape it down, he has a tendency to move it all over the place accidentally so it is secure I was gonna go play catch with uh, Hudson today and uh, they called a last-minute uh, baseball practice for them they decided not last minute well, I didn't find out about it until I called his mama so it was last minute to me so, uh, we ended up not playing catch. Yep, 
Yes, that is the uh, new Iron Man that uh, Hudson built for the uh, Baseman uh, rematch that he had disassembled and said he was going to scrap the parts. We're just showing him off to show that uh, he has been reassembled and he is recharging for future contests. But that's in honor of Hudson. Yes, absolutely. Woozy is here. Hello, Woozy. Good to see you. Woozy, we're doing two of the mulligan boxes tonight. Yours will be on Wednesday night, if you can make it. We've got Michael Erickson and Stan Horn with box one. And then we've got uh, Walker Magnet with box two. And we're just hoping for some silver. Silver would be nice. Hello, Mo Money. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hopefully, we'll find a uh, DDL Mo Money, and you can help me identify it. 1974. It's not the DDO, but let's see if I can work the focus up a little bit. That's a little better. I got it zoomed in pretty tight. I may back it off. We'll just have to see. I would tell you all that Paul and Hudson were tired on Sunday afternoon after we uh, did the uh, stream on Saturday and then we did the uh, two boxes of halves or of uh, pennies. Mom and Pop Pennies on uh, Sunday. Hudson is having... Uh... Well, Woozy, if you're here after this box, then we'll hold off on Walker Magnet and we will do your box next. If you're still here, Woozy, we will hold off on Walker Magnet and we will do your box next. Because I know Walker Magnet is flexible. He's given myself and Nicole Wenzel permission to do his box. But he really doesn't care when it's done. And I would prefer to do people's boxes when they can be here. And I know that just doesn't work for him. And I know it doesn't work for everybody. Yeah, Walker Magnet won't care. He won't care. I hope that's right, Walker Magnet, because I know you're probably watching this replay. I think we're going to hold off on Walker Magnet now. To, and hey, if Paul catches a, his wind... No, I don't want to do three boxes tonight, because honestly, Paul may coin Somniac may than, more than twice this week. Because I would like to get several boxes back to the bank and drop my inventory. I would like to. I don't know. We'll see how the sleep goes. Tomorrow I have to uh, take coins back to the bank. Already got uh, four or five gallon buckets upstairs waiting for us. Waiting for me and my son carried them up for me this week which was nice and we're going to fill at least one more tonight because i put two boxes of halves per five gallon bucket makes each five gallon bucket worth a thousand dollars didn't know they were that expensive uh baseman won by like 20 points again more money It was a nip and tuck match again. Again, very, very close. It was like 1,340 to 1,310. That's in the neighborhood. So Baseman is the world champion once again of the mom and pop penny boxes. And as he and Hudson are the only two human beings that have found a Mikey 
in a mom and pop, well, found a Mikey gold piece. The only two human beings I know of that have found gold in a penny box. They're probably uh, highly ranked in searching those boxes. And Hudson has lost another close battle. He took this loss better than the first loss. Still disappointed. He wanted to win. He wanted to win. But he is in a secret location in training. Trying to raise his skills just 1% higher. So that he can take down the base man. It's all out war now. Boss Bear Time, can a mod post my link? I'm trying to get to 200 friends. I have a tender friend. One yeah, absolutely. Uh, will one of my moderators please list American Eagle Hoarders uh, channel, please? We love to help people out. You know that. American Eagle Hoarder. We would be glad to help you. American Eagle Holder is frequently on streaming. I'd ask you all to check out his channel. If you like what you see, to give him a, a subscribe and check him out. Hey, if nothing else, you can go over there and win his one ounce round he's going to give away for uh, having 200 friendly. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Watch your ears, I'm dumping into an empty bucket. I'm sure, American Eagle Hoarder, that someone is looking up your link right now. And they are going to post it. There it is, the turtle's on top of it. Thank you, turtle, turtle. Thanks a million, Paul Spare Time. I'm desperately trying to reach a thousand friends, but got to do a hundred friends at a time, yep. $5 super chat from American Eagle Hoarder. Thank you, American Eagle Hoarder. You're going to make ba uh, you're going to make baseman. You're going to make uh, SpongeBob dance and he came up little again. He does that from time to time, but he's a dancing away. Pause for time. You have email and some reading if you uh, find some time. Thanks for the heads up. I might no problem, Sam. I was surprised uh, when I was going through today. I will go through some more. I had uh, I hit a streak where I had like uh, five in a row where people haven't sent me an email yet. And I'm like, I got to Sam's and I thought, oh, he just forgot. I will see him in the stream and I will let him know. You already did the hard part. You got your name drawn. You might as well get your prize. Now most people would probably just throw that back into their inventory, but pawn hunting aren't most people. We want you to have it. You won on a Coinsomniac stream, so it's whatever we found. And I don't remember, but I know that one night, everybody got 90s and 40s. That was a good night. Michael Erickson, I am trying to find you something, brother, but it is not happening yet. I have 12 black boxes coming in for Wednesday. I'll be doing an all-day stream again. Five boxes are still available. Holy smokes. Does that mean you have donated for seven boxes already, Will? That's pretty darn awesome. Or, I mean, American Eagle Hoarder. American Eagle Hoarder has changed his uh, YouTube name a few times. Confusing Paul and Charlotte. But mainly just Paul. 74D. Well, good luck with a dozen boxes. I think I got 34 sitting here, and uh, I would like to thin them out a little. Cold the herd, but I'd like to find some silver along the way. We had a major scare for those of you that might not have been here on Saturday night. We have a streak of 28 streams in a row now that we have found silver. But on Saturday night, we had searched four boxes of our five and 45 rolls of the 50 rolls in the last box. And we hit silver with five rolls to go. We found a 90, and then amazingly enough, we found a 40 
in uh, box uh, or in the last roll to fill the board. It was crazy. It was a great last five minutes. We did find an 87S proof, Nipsey proof, for Walker magnet, but other than that, we found some Nipsey's, and that was it. But it was saved at the end. Michael Jurek uh, saved us and found some silver. I was past scared, Turtle. I, uh, I thought we were done. I thought we were done. Three eighteen twenty twenty one one twenty three twenty six. Sent this email to you at Paul Spare Time. Hmm. I wonder why I couldn't find it, Sam. Hello, Tom Peterson. Paul, the next dream should be a bonanza. Bonanza is what the miners would say when they found a vein of silver. I like that idea too. We need to find a vein. We are due for a vein. Bonanza. Paul was gonna go with Hoot Nanny. Hudson likes Lollapalooza, obviously. We now got Silva Palooza. We've got Bonanza. We just need to keep finding silver and we can have some more parties. We are having a party this uh, Saturday night because we didn't have one this week and uh, Pepe about got in the coin cave, the coin compound for the first time ever. Great Scott coin collecting. Happy birthday at Lambo Stacker. Well, happy birthday, Lambo Stacker. Spam email at Paul Spare Time. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if you sent it and I missed it, Sam. Everyone's supposed to claim their prize within a week, but uh, Paul usually keeps them out for two or three weeks before I release them back to the wild. I don't want to have to put any back. I don't want people to win. Seventy-four D. I want Michael Erickson to find something, anything. Can we find a DDO? Paul hasn't hunted any boxes on his own in a while, off camera, or even on camera video wise, to build up some DDOs or anything. That's 71. You're welcome, Sam. You've got six rolls left, Michael Erickson. Six rolls left. Yeah, Tom Peterson, I, I kind of thought that was you. I figured it was. It's good to see you. You've got these aliases out there. You might show up as Paul Spare Tire. Uh, Paul Spare Tire Coins. You might uh, show up as Bender Bending. You might show up as Tom Peterson. I just never know where the Bender Bending is going to show up. I'm just glad when you're here, Tom. Just glad when you're here. It's good to see you. Now, bring me some luck to find a little silver for Michael Erickson. But so far, so far, a1 is not A1. It is not. Uh, okay. Grab me a Swiss rolled American Eagle order. 
Hang in there, Tom Peterson. Hang in there. Praying for you, bud. You got a shiny. You got a shiny. Be a 96. Be a 1983. Got a scratch in it, so I won't send it to you. Other than the scratch, it looked really nice, but it's been kissed by a crimper sometime. Wasn't all the way around. Oh, uh, Hudson is having his Iowa, what we used to call it was the uh, California Achievement Test, I think, when we were, when I was in school. And they're having their Iowa standardized testing this week, where all day long they're filling out the bubbles on the paper and taking tests. And there was a rumor that he just about fell asleep after one of the tests at school today. So Paul might have uh, gotten a little scolding for overworking the HUD. Oh, that looks like a proof. Tom Peterson, I had a surprise in my mail today. A copper round that I guess I won in an EOS, but I had no idea about. Well, super, Tom. That does happen occasionally, too. I will occasionally, even if you don't claim it, if you're a regular that spends hours on our stream, I'll send it to you. That could be a proof. It could be a proof. It's shiny. It's chubby. Let's see. Let's see. Doesn't look like a proof. Not a proof. It is a 1989D with a scratch on the neck. Well, that's disappointing. Sometimes those coins come out of uh, mint sets. People will break open a mint set and release them back into the wild. And some of those mint sets are uh, minted thicker. Not all years, but some of the years are. And that one had the distinctive look at a, as a proof, and it was proofless. It was not a proof. Not a proof. Got three rolls left, Michael Erickson. Sometimes they turn out to be nifties. See, there's two more shinies, but they're not chubby. So we'll hope that they get at least an NIFC. Four about a DDO. No, the roll says no. Seventy-four D. Two rolls left. Two rolls left. Come on. Let's not skunk Michael another 20 rolls. That's just not, just uncalled for. Michael, if I remember right, Saturday was your birthday, too. We skunked you on your birthday. How terrible is that? But we gave him a nice birthday present. He made out okay. He made out okay. Did you enjoy your birthday, Michael Erickson? Yeah, who picked this box? I don't know. I don't know. I tried to give you a TT10. I went over to pick up A1, and I came back with TT10. I don't know what the deal was on that. All good. Just here for the company. All right. Last roll, Michael. Last roll.
come. Last roll of magic again. We may have burned up our last roll of magic for a while on Saturday night. Pulling the 40 to get the fill the board. I don't see anything, Michael. Darn it. But here's the deal. You had a 20 roll donation, so we're going to call that a uh, half box. And half box skunk silver is a 90, so we will play for a 40, Michael Erickson. We will play for a 40 percenter. That is heads. That is tails. If you call it right, you win a 40 percenter. Michael Erickson, heads or tails? Heads or tails? Good night, Tom. Have a good night's sleep. Tails, he says. All right. Tails, it is. Michael Erickson's a winner. Even when you take a skunk box and you turn it into a mullen gun box and you get skunked again, you can still win on Paul's spare time. And what I'm going to give you is Paul has some very nice, very nice 1965 40 percenters. So I'm going to send that guy right there to you, Michael. Michael, thanks for donating. Thanks for sharing your birthday with us. It is greatly appreciated. I will add this to your envelope. And I will get it mailed out to you. Sorry we didn't do better either night, Michael. Sometimes you're the bat. Sometimes you're the ball. Eh, I think we were the ball tonight. You're welcome, Michael. All right, my money, get a good night's sleep. Thanks for stopping by. Let me put this near your, tell you what, if I'm gonna go ahead and put it near your envelope, how I put it in your envelope, then I won't forget it and have to mail you twice. About dropped it on the floor. That would have been no good. All right, now we've got Stan Horns. We've got Stan Horns 30 rolls. We're going to mark Michael off, working through our mulligan list. We're going to start Stan. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. I am going to leave you with our members list. Fresh glove on. No finds in our first 20 rolls. Hopefully, we find Stan Horn something in the next 30.
glove on. And 65's away. I've got another new stand-in for my camera, so I've got them all hooked on to the back of the table so they lean forward now so I can move them out of the way. I switched the box cam with Hudson's camera so Hudson's camera will focus better next time. And uh, about to get after a year, although we've only been live streaming since September. But we have been uh, posting videos now. We're just right at a year. We probably hit like our year anniversary um, just any time now. We started in April last year. I'd have to look back and see when our first video was posted. But we started doing videos in April, live streaming in September. And... Uh, we have tried to improve along the way. Baseman? Is Baseman here? Did I miss the Baseman? Did I miss the Baseman? Did I miss the Baseman? I don't see the Baseman. I don't see the base, man. Oh, I don't think it is. Eh, that's 71. It was a tricky 71. Hello, MLZB. Good to see you. Scott Testy, good to see you. Nagy Silver, good to see you. Baseman Raid. Ah, Metal Dragon Braveheart, good to see you. GBR Scott, I understand now. I understand. Good to see the Baseman folks. Thank you for coming. I tried to tried to wait it out. I waited till eleven o'clock. Well, later now. I waited till eleven thirty to start tonight. Because my buddies Baseman and Can Can were both streaming. So I didn't want to step on them. So we started a little later. And we're the Coinsomniac crew. So <laughs> what's later to us, right? Good to see you, R.D. Dornell. Good to see you, Tool Freak. All right. Kaylee Hancocks, good to see you. Cupperell Coins, switching from laptop to phone so I can crash out while Paul and the Coins Omniacs take me to Dreamland. We can do that. We can do that. It is rare that everyone that starts out awake on our stream ends up awake. We are doing a Mulligan box, a Mulligan 30 rolls, I should say, for Stan Horn. Stan Horn was uh, skunked on Saturday night as... The first four boxes and 45 rolls, everybody was skunked. And we're trying to find Stan some goodness in his Mulligan 30 rolls. Hey, we've got an NIFC. We're going to be on the board. Where is it? It is a 2011. A 2011. P. We've got a Nipsey. Okay, where is... Where's my... There it is. What are you doing all the way down there? Get up there in the top spot. Get up there. Thank you. We're on the board. We've got a Nipsey. We'll take it. you got to start somewhere. you got to start somewhere. We'll start with an FC. I ain't proud. We'll take it. And Seventy-three D. We have not found a DDO tonight. That Nipsey is our first find. 
probably missing people. Moderators, please welcome the folks in that I miss. Like I missed that last coin back there. Muscle shell, I still got you in blue. I gotta fix that. So if you're gonna, oh, we got another Nipsey. 2003. Where is it? Where is it? There's the three. There's the O. 2003 NIFC. The gray hair on the table. I wonder where that came from. I don't have gray hair. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Some gray-headed person has borrowed the uh, my mat, my streaming, and left a hair behind. It's terrible. It's terrible. Why would this happen? Why would this happen? Used to be able to go to the uh, haircut place and have them uh, cut out the few grays that were popping in around the ears. And if I did that now, I'd walk out bald. It would be terrible. Heather's Chubby Hubby, good to see you. not try to open the roll with a screwdriver and read the chat at the same time. I made contact with the thumb. I think we'll be okay. 73D. Not a DDO. The coins are backwards. I think they'd be 50-50, but they're not. Oh, there's the four. Not a DDO. We had one forward and I still flipped it backwards. Just gives me more chance to hear if they are a magic coin. We have not found a magic coin in a minute. It'd be good to find. Well, Scott Teske, if you are not hooked up with... Uh, can can or southern metal would recommend them american eagle hoarder is here except he ran to the gas station he's got a good channel he's trying to grow got a giveaway coming up check him out Good to have friends. It's amazing to me how many of our subscribers come out of this Coinsomniac uh, time slot. Us night owls hanging together. Us night owls. There's Can Can's uh, link right there. Check out Can Can. If you're not following Can Can's channel, you are missing out. Got some great auctions. Paul bought some stuff from Can Can's auction on Saturday afternoon. He had another one tonight. Oh, that looks DDO ish. I think we've got a find for Stan Horn, unless that's damage. Unless that's damage. Let's look at the rest of it. Oh no, there's the line down the R. There's the doubling on the U, the extra fat S, the T raised above the T, doubling of the serifs, and the T up here is going to have a lot of extra metal on the right, and it does. That's a 1974D, a DDO. First one of the night. We got us a miscellaneous. I got a broken. Flip. We got something for Stan. 
we've got a 74D DDO. You got it like that. Oh, and I've got a new stapler. This thing is a beast. I've got a new stapler. Uh oh. The new, new stapler is 0 for 2. We will try the new stapler again. We'll try the new stapler again. What happened? Paul is having new stapler problems. Should have practiced with your new stapler, Paul. If you swing and miss, I found out where all the staples go. They all try to come out at once. Huh. Not quite as expedient as my other stapler. Oh no, it's not broken. It's a monster though. And it's one of those front staples. So I gotta get used to it. I've gotta get used to it. I've done better staple jobs. But it is rated for a um, hundred and thirty sheets, where my last one was only rated for sixty sheets. But I'm having to bend down one of the staples that I think it was user error. I think it was user error. All right. This is 420 of 21. I need to set it up so I can use it off to the side. All right. There stands DDO. New stapler. One paw zero. If you get rated for flips, we're going to find out, Janie L. That last one did great, and then something happened to it, and it didn't do great anymore. I don't know. It did a lot of flipping. Well, all the wonderful ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Time for me to hit pay. And thank you again, Paul Spare Time. Find that silver. Thank you, Michael. Have a good evening. Get you some sleep. We got 43 people up in here. We appreciate it. We're looking for silver for Stan Horn. Stan's not here, but gave me the go-ahead to do his rolls. At least that's the way I remember it. Roll number. What in the world? Where'd everybody go? Hopefully we're still streaming. Give me a second. I had a screen go blank. I had a screen go blank. All right, I'm back. I'm back. This mouse has uh, buttons on the side, and I occasionally tap them, and it must have been over the X. Still here. All right. Good information. Glad y'all are still here. Paul, it was just Paul that went away for a second. I hit the side of the mouse and hit the button. And evidently it had slid up over the uh, close everything button. And it did. 
We don't need that kind of help. That's no good at all. 73D. We got our 74D DDO. Can we find a 73? Not there. What happened to Muscle Shell? Well, Paul finally remembered after Muscle Shell asked to uh, be temporarily blue to post something to, to uh, un, unblue him. Nothing against Muscle Shell, but Muscle Shell has not agreed to uh, spend a bunch of time here being a Paul Spare Time moderator at all hours of the day. So I don't want to confuse expectations from Paul or any of the viewers. So I saw him blue and I actually remembered to fix it. Not that we won't call him into service at a later date. It could always happen. Oh yeah, if I would put that on the board, you all would know that I found a miscellaneous. And it was a 74D DDO. All right, 20 rolls left for Stan. Bluegrass Silver Seeker, good to see you. Paul, because uh, if you uh, ask to be turned blue to post a link, sometimes Paul will just leave you that way for a couple months. Before you know it, you're working full time. Good question, American Eagle Hoarder. I do not know the answer. Do not be yeah, unheard of. <laughs> Stuff to uh, do tomorrow today. All right, turtle, turtle. Understood. You got to do what you got to do. All our moderators know that uh, we uh, we stream a ton of hours in a week, and there is certainly no expectation for everyone to be here all the time. Just, I assume that some of you, all of you, have a few other things to do, at least occasionally. To filter germs, that may be thing is, the older you get, those ear and nose hairs, they are the best growers on the body, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, they are the best hair, growing hairs on the body. What do we got? Seventy four D, but not the DDO. Are you kidding me? I hit it again. It didn't uh, do anything but shut the screen that time. I might have just put that in a different place. Uh, you're on the Blue Ranch list uh, for when the need arises, American Eagle Hoarder. You and Muscle Shell both. I have a list. I think we're, we're fully stocked right now.
we just had moderator appreciation last week on one of the uh, streams one of the coin somniac streams and that was fun although we didn't find an awful lot that from happening thank you Rob Winslow painted 1981 appreciate someone taking the effort to do a little painting the legend Rob Wenzel. Hello Jack Gallman, good to see you. Looking for some silver. Exactly what we're doing right now is just looking because we're not doing any finding yet. We need some uh ohs and some booms. Probably some of you still recovering from your ear damage from Hudson on uh, Saturday night. I did rewatch the end of the stream and uh, <laughs> I thought it was me that had been extremely loud. I was loud enough, but. Uh, Hudson hit an octave that was uh, over and above. Fourteen rolls left for Stan. He's got a DDO. He's got two NIFCs. So, uh, supposedly, we've got a major cold front coming in tomorrow, and they're even saying that we have a chance of snow, which I am quite sure we do not need. Maybe a lot of people replanting some stuff if we get the weather they're talking about. Turtle Turtle wants to snow. That was loud, but funny too. Yeah, John, how shocking. How shocking. You should tell Hudson that old folks startle easily. Yeah, he was sitting right by me. I'm an old folk. <laughs> I think we were... I thought it was painted. I saw it. I thought it was painted. This uh, new uh, magnifying glass I've got distorts evidently a little bit on the white color and I have called a silver coin painted twice now since I've had this new in the last few weeks but uh, he jumped off his chair when he saw it from the side and then I showed him through the scope before we looked at it and he thought it was painted too it was. It was uh, not painted at all. It was just a pretty 1964. Hello, Greg Lee. Are you getting better, my friend?
hope you're feeling better, Greg. Yes, Paul, but not feeling too good today. Well, I guess if overall you're feeling a little better, we'll take a uh, not great day. Hopefully you get out of the hospital soon and start feeling much better, Greg. Get back to normal. That's tough, my friend. Time to go out cow tipping before bed. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Jack of Hearts. Am I free to check out the all day stream Wednesday? Not all day, but I'll I'll check it out. I'll check it out, American Eagle Hoarder. I'll be in at some point. For sure. What time are you starting? American Eagle Hoarder. A dozen boxes is going to take a dozen hours at least. got one but he wouldn't mind having another I'm sure Those coins have some value to them depending on the shape they are in It'd be 15 or 20 dollars or a lot more um, Walker magnet we found Walker magnet a 74 D DDO that is the prettiest one I've ever seen and he sent it in and got graded and I think it was either an MS 62 or 64 about a $75 plus coin that he's got slabbed from NGC now it's funny because when I found it I'm like there's a 74D but it's too pretty to be the DDO, because the nice ones are never, uh, oh my gosh, it's the DDO. Shocking. It was shocking. Forty-four people in the chat. Thank you all very much. Great. We appreciate it in the stream anyway. It doesn't tell me how many are awake. It just tells me how many are logged on. We'll take either kind of viewer. About to do that one on the floor. I had the uh, volume turned way up for our stream with Baseman on uh, Sunday because we were doing the audio over the phone. Is it loud tonight? Do I need to back off the volume? Coin Hunter Chris, good to see you. Thanks for being here. I mean, my normal voice isn't pegging the red, but it looks like it's maybe a little loud. Like maybe it is a little loud. Let me know. We can adjust. We were having a hard time catching uh, Darth Bassman's uh, audible tones. I think that one's just dirty. I think it's just dirty. We'll take a look at the T to make sure if we can find the T. We're all the way over to the R. Yeah, it's not. 
just had dirt in a bad place for what I was doing with it. Looking for the DDO. It was disguising it. 73D. All right. Maybe my microphone's too low because I didn't see anyone reply. I guess volume must be okay. Moderators, is the volume okay on your end? Or is it a little loud? It's good, Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good. All right. I'll leave it be. Thank you for the feedback. Greatly appreciated. I thought I was talking to myself there for a second. <laughs> you know, on those Saturday streams, when we stream for six hours and or more, and sometimes Hudson isn't here, and I do it by myself, I absolutely feel like I'm talking to myself sometimes. But then other times... I forget that I'm not in a room with 40 people. Yeah, good. Thank you, King Ken. All right, five rolls left for Stan Horn. We've got him two NIFCs and a. DDO. for silver. And that stinks, crappy Tim. We're rooting for you, buddy. Keep after it. When I started to stream, to live stream my comment video, is what got you. Yeah, R.D. Darnell, that was uh, that was a pause blooper, all right. I'm uh, making my comment video. I don't. I'm not even logged into YouTube. I didn't know you could live stream without being logged into YouTube. Hit the wrong button. Hit the start streaming button instead of the start recording button. I'm recording along. Thank goodness I didn't mess up anything and have a real blooper. This doesn't happen very often unless I realize I've left the microphone off and then I, uh, I'm not very happy about that. But uh, I've got uh, super chats coming into my comment video. And I thought, wow. Darn Streamlabs is messed up again. It's popping in uh, old uh, Super Chats. With uh, Rick Howe Jr., who's a frequent Super Chatter. So I'm thanking him for his old Super Chats. He does another one. And at that point, I look up and my, uh, my counter's on. And I've got either 18 or 21 viewers. 
And I'm like, well, how can I have uh, viewers for a uh, comment video? And it's like, oh, crap. I'm streaming. I don't remember exactly what I said. It's like, I guess I'm going to start over. You all got a preview for the comment video. I was getting likes. I was getting super chats. Man, I was just recording a video. Didn't know I was streaming. But I sure was. <laughs> oh, well. That was a blooper. That was a blooper for sure. All right, we got one roll left. Post for time, I thought my notifications were giving me notifications from the night before since it said Coinsomniac, so I thought it was nothing. Then I tried to watch it, but you removed it. Yeah, I didn't want to confuse anyone, so I did I did delete that one. I think uh, that might be, other than just some test ones, the only video I've ever deleted, but uh, it didn't feel like it had any real purpose being out there. Other than I could have saved it for a good laugh at Paul, I suppose. But uh, I figured it would confuse everyone trying to find a, a real comment video. And uh, I was confused enough just trying to get the silly comment video out. Comment video, I will probably try to get out on Wednesday. I try to get it out Wednesday before Rob goes live. Because I know a lot of people are on their computer for that. Don't always get it done. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing on uh, Saturday. That is it, Stan Horn. We did not do extremely well. We did get you a DDO stand. We got you two Nifsies that I'm going to trade in for you for a Merc Dime. And Hudson refilled my Merc Dimes the other day. But I'm not sure if Hudson, I'm not a hundred percent sure Hudson can be here this Saturday. Especially after I made him about fall asleep in school. Got a 1941. Let me find a mint mark in this Ooh. Big jumbo screen. I do not see a mint mark. So it's a 41P. You will get that with your DDO stand. And you get a coin flip. Stan, you get a coin flip. And you had half a box too. So this is for a 40. So Nicole Wenzel, you missed it. Well, you, you missed me messing up big time, Nicole. So you can keep a better opinion of me than doing something that silly. Um, Nicole Wenzel, would you call heads or tails for uh, Stan Horn? We're playing for a 40. If he gets it right, he gets a 40. Because this is a little around a half box donation, 30 rolls. Wrong, you just get what we found. Nicole calls heads. Here we go. Nicole is right. Heads it is. Stan Horn, you're going to win on one of my pretty 1965s. How so many of those pretty 65s I got left? But I know I got that one. That's such a pretty 65. It's a 1968. What's it doing in the 65 jar? Well, you're getting a 68, Stan. Congratulations. Let me get this added to your package. Stan Horn, thank you for uh, your support of our channel and donating. It is always appreciated. Wish we'd done better with your box, or your rolls, and your skunk box. Skunk rolls. But you had a very good box the week before. So I guess it balances out. All right, let me get this in Stan's envelope. Let me drop it on the floor first. Put 
it in an envelope so I do not lose track of it. All right, A1 is out of here. A1 did not have silver. Let's get our sheet over here. A1 had two NIFCs and one DDO. Woozy, are you still here? Clunkrutha, good evening, good to see you. It's a good attitude, Crappy Tim. There is a plan, there is a reason, I agree. Are you still here, Woozy? Or as I accidentally called you on Saturday or sun Sunday, Wookie. Is Woozy still here? Let me mark Stan off. There's Woozy. All right, Woozy. Here are your choices. The pea boxes are off limits tonight since they saved our bacon on Saturday. You've got the NC boxes that are four for 10 in silver, uh, and two of them have had walkers. That's all they had, but they've had walkers. One, two, 10, and 12. You've got the B boxes, B1, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. They are one for three uh, with silver. And box uh, seven had a 90 and a proof. Uh, the A boxes are now 0 for 2 on silver. The TT boxes are 0 for 1 on silver. TT 1, 2, 1 through 6 and 8, 9, and 10. So, Woozy, is there anything out there that catches your eye? The NC boxes are the oldest boxes in the house. TT boxes are the newest boxes in the house. P boxes are off limits. TT10, the one I went and got a while ago. I get to bring TT10 back. That's appropriate, Woozy. Play into a theme. I like it, brother. TT10. Well, I know where it is. Let's see if I come back with the wrong box again. It was not hard to find. I found it accidentally the first time. It does have a one flap down, kind of down. T T ten. Good luck, Woozy. It is glued. Like they're protecting something. Like they are protecting something. Smell something silver? That'd be nice. TT10. I see a shiny one. I do not see anything obviously silver. Do not see anything obviously silver. Let's give them a flip just to give us a little insight. Plus, it doesn't take that long. Although, I do have one flap down here to keep my defenses up. obvious I have found as many as 12 silvers in a box without an ender I don't see anything obvious woozy so uh, we'll just slide them to the side under the box cam and we'll get started there's the box cam the 
pull the box cam out just a little farther. I like that better. I can reach him better. Roll one. Good luck, Woozy. Oh, you know what? I didn't bless the last box. I'm going to bless this one. I am going with my brand new round. You have not seen this. This is going to be one of the choices for a while. I got five of these. I got five of these. This is the Woolly Mammoth. 2021 Woolly Mammoth Prehistoric Life. Twenty francs, Republica Democratica de Kudu Congo, from the Congo. One ounce of silver. We're gonna bless this box with the woolly mammoth. One ounce silver, woolly mammoth. That Nicole Winslow. Did you see that? I got a new one ounce round in. They're trickling in. All right, now we're going to start roll one. Now we will start roll one. Thank you, Donna. That is a nice one. All right. So I've got a few new ones in. I'm still waiting for my five ounces to come in. And that's one thing I haven't decided for Saturday. If uh, my five ounces come in, the donators will have a choice of five ounces for Saturday as a uh, package. So we will see if they make it, because right now I've only got three. And three does not work when you've got five boxes. It's not fair. Still probably won't be fair, because I've only got three America the Beautiful. But I will have other five ounce rounds. Come on, Paul. Put the right screen up. That is definitely a Paul blooper. That's like every single chime. I change a to a new box. I forget. Beautiful. Yeah. The woolly mammoth's looking good. The woolly mammoth is looking good. I couldn't resist that. I've also one of the mints, and I think it might be the Australian mint, but I'm not sure. Just release some uh, silver rounds and have six doff or have dolphins on them in the uh, out in the ocean, and uh, I got six of those coming as well. Those are more expensive, but they're from Atmex, and I know I can get them, so I ordered some just to have. They're about five dollars more each. So uh, the woolly mammoth and the uh, the dolphins will be here I'm sure this weekend. I'm hoping my five ounces are here. I'm hoping I find some silver. Love dolphins. Well, there'll be dolphins in the house soon. I got a note from Appmex that I got a package today, but I haven't been upstairs to see what it was. 1982D, unfortunately. Oh, that was a pretty 74, but it was a 74P, unfortunately. Not even going to check it, because there's nothing to look for. Another 82, and another D. And another 82. D. So let's find something for Woozy. Woozy had a skunk box on Saturday. We need to get a little redemption for Woozy for being skunked so brutally on Saturday evening. And we need these TT boxes to 
have something in it so the turtle is happy. We gotta keep the turtle happy. Nobody wants an unhappy turtle in the house. Roll five, Woozy. Roll five. Clad one that fell off the back there. <coughs> Excuse me. Better ice cold water. Finally got an 82P. Roll six. <coughs> he gets real snappy, that's right. He does. He does. He becomes a snapping turtle instead of a uh, blanding turtle. The Canadian smiling turtle. Although it's not in Canada. To my knowledge, the turtle was not born in Canada. May not have ever even been in Canada. But he's got the blanding turtle from Canada. He's got the whole set. The turtle must must have uh, maybe went to bed. T tired turtle. Tired turtle has plans tomorrow. Things to do for the turtle. I am going to have to take several days in a row at some point and work on my taxes. Thank goodness they extended our taxes a month here or I would be in trouble. They've been sitting on the table out there for two months. And I've just got to do it. I've got all the paperwork. Just got to make it happen. Favorite turtle is the leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtle. Very cool. I know we've been, uh, we were in the Bahamas or Aruba. I think it was Aruba. And we went, they had a, uh, like a turtle farm right on the coast. And they had turtles. And they had some big sea turtles in there. Really cool. I forget how old they said they were, but like over 100 years old. And uh, they were awesome. And uh, it was one of the turtles whose uh, population number. I can't tell if that's P or D. It's D. Or low. And they were uh, helping them make sure their babies survived. Try to get the population up. So we couldn't touch them or anything. We just got to see them and take pictures. But it was cool. <laughs> and we were in Aruba, so what's not to like? a slow start. A slow start. We are so due to hit a big box. So due. 
could be setting on the floor over there. It could be in the other three-fourths of this box. We've had a lot of boxes with silver. We have not had a big one. It has some decent ones. And any box with silver is a good box. Don't get me wrong. But uh, we have not had a jumbo. And I want a, Hudson wants a jumbo bad. If we hit a jumbo on a Coinsomniac stream, he wants me to call and wake him up and come get him and let him miss school the next day. I told him he could negotiate that with his mama. But I am supposed to stop hunting immediately if I open a box with tons of enders. He wants to be the one to search it, which I understand. Don't think Mama's going to go for that plan, though. That's 10 rolls down, 20% of the box. Next 40 rolls cannot be any worse, Woozy. They cannot be any worse because... We have yet to find anything. Something sounded a little funny, but I guess not. Must have been me. Rob Winslow has the last magic coin we have found. Do for another one of those, too. <laughs> yeah. Donna Hill, we want one of those once in a lifetime boxes. We had one. Y'all have heard, most of you have heard the story. We helped, uh, we've helped several other streamers out with boxes. And uh, we gave, we sold at cost a bunch of boxes to Nubs Hunt's treasure once. And uh, he scooted home. We drove uh, 10 plus hours that day to get the boxes to him and back. And uh, he opened the first box on the stream that night, and uh, it had enders everywhere. And that box ended up having either 120 some or 130 40 percenters. It also had a 90 percent uh, Colombian expedition, the first uh, commemorative coin ever made, and uh, we gave it away. Crappy Tim, we are uh, we are taking donations for mom and pop penny boxes. The minimum is ten rolls. The maximum is ten rolls, and uh, they are forty dollars for ten rolls. And you can send that via PayPal. And I will put you on the list. Actually, I think I didn't uh, change the whole message at the bottom of the description. I think the bottom of the description kind of has the uh, search order on out. I think we're out to uh, like May 20th or something right now on the donations. Oh, yeah, Nicole. I wished it was my box, too. Um, but... Uh, And made a different noise. It didn't sound silvery. Um, we're about a month out on uh, mom and pop boxes, but I've got enough to cover the next month. Still got Hudson's goodies all sitting here in the bowl that I have to go through.
sounds a little funny. I'm gonna weigh it. Don't know what's going on with it. I think it's that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's that 72. So 10 rolls or buy the money saving 10 pack. <laughs> yeah. this one we don't want ounces we want grams Ten point four four. so that's very light that is very light I don't think it's a magic coin though if you look at another clad it's 11.3 which is right I don't know if you can see that, but it says 10.4. So, we're going to take our bang ring and bang it, but I don't think it is a magic coin. It doesn't quite have the right sound. It doesn't sound right. It sounds, but it doesn't sound clunky enough. It doesn't... But it's an ounce light. Let's look under the scope and see. No. It's not a magic coin, but it's an ounce light. I don't know why it's an ounce, or not an ounce light. An ounce light would be horrible. It is uh, a gram light. It is not, that's not a magic coin. Just a light coin. Just a light coin. Don't know why. Light coin and it sounded a little funny. But I don't see the marks of a magic coin. It did not come loose. It was a teaser, Woozy. It was a teaser. Both Donna and your Arkansas brother Shannon Smith have won magic coins at my auctions. Very cool. If I'd find them some, they wouldn't have to go out and buy them. <laughs> can, can. But I'm happy for you at your auctions. Magic coins are cool coins. If you don't know what a magic coin is, it's a... Uh, it doesn't always have to be a half dollar, but I think it's most typical in half dollars where um, magicians will use them. They've hollowed out, took the back off and hollowed out uh, the coin. So there's a uh, pocket in the middle. But uh, then on the back, the little thin back that goes back in it, it has, uh, usually on one side, it'll have the standard Kennedy back. And uh, on the other side of that, it will have like the back of a... Uh, uh, Mexico coin and they call it a magic coin because magicians can use them they are also called spy coins back to the Cold War you could supposedly put microfish in them and uh, bring them wherever you wanted unsuspectingly uh, we have found a couple as a matter of fact I think uh, I think it was Walker Magnet no it was either Walker Magnet or Chris B, I forget. It might have been Chris B that we found uh, magic coins for two weeks in a row. So the second time, I tried to uh, put a Merc dime on the inside of it to surprise him, and a Merc dime wouldn't even fit. 
Yeah, nickel. Ma there are nickel and quarter magic coins. I know for for sure. Never seen one, but I've read about them. So there's not a real big storage space in there, but they're kind of fun. Seventy-four G, and they've got decent value. I mean, they're. You can buy them on eBay, you know, 25 or 30 dollars, 15 at least to buy one. Why well, I'm looking at three, I want it to look up there. 74D. Yeah, I found one for Rob one night that was as clunky as heck. It's the first one that I found with my bang ring that I got to open. That was a nice one, too. That was a nice one. Oh, grumpy old dude with a headache. Sorry, man. Looking for something for Woozy. In his mulligan box, in box TT10, the box that Paul accidentally grabbed when he went over to grab A1 for Michael Erickson for the first box of the night that turned out to be a skunk. And so far, TT10 is not doing any better. see me tap on the coins when I've got them laid out like this I'm listening and that's how I heard that light coin I heard something make a funny noise in the coins and sometimes you can hear a magic coin or a silver doing that if you've got a silver that you didn't identify by the edge tap them Gives you an extra chance to find something. Hello, Gunny. Good to see you. We got a couple shiny ones in this one. That's something different. Seventy-four D. Any 1981, not what we're looking for. Another 1982, that one's a P, but it's got the FG. Shiny 96, so even the shiny is what we're looking for. This is roll 21, Blackjack. Approaching the halfway point of the box. Saturday night, we are hoping to extend our silver streak to 29 streams in a row. We 
we had one week we only found one and we had Nicole Winslow save us one week late Stan Horn saved us with a big box a few weeks ago and this Saturday was just as close as you can come to not finding silver found one with five rolls to go and then another in the last roll so the last box, box P10, saved us. Michael Jurek let Hudson pick the box. Hudson went P10 and found silver. Got pretty 74D. All right, it looked prettier before I magnified it a hundred times. Is this going? Yes, this is going to be the last box, I think, Nicole. I'm pretty sure this is going to put us to two o'clock, so I think this will be the last box since we started so late. And then if I don't stream tomorrow night, which I might... We will pick up again on Wednesday. If I do stream tomorrow night, we'll take whoever might need to be in the stream. Whoever might be in the stream. If uh, no one's here, we will pop a uh, Walker magnet because I've got permission to do his. If no one else is here, we will start on the moderator boxes. I would like to get several Mulligan boxes done this week. And back to the bank, although Paul has to dump his own coins again. Because the lobby is back open. So that adds, it added 30 minutes to my day last uh, week when I took them back. Because I've been having to um, just drop them off and then they dump them. Now the good thing was, I dumped them and got my deposit immediately. Because sometimes they take a couple days to get them dumped. The bad news is I had to sit there and they had to change the uh, bags six times. So it still worked for them. And then they got a mess with the coins. But I plan to take a load in tomorrow. built up over 30. Okay, Crappy Tim, I'll let you know where you are on the schedule. Every Sunday um, when we do the Penny Rolls 2, I will post the entire schedule in the description for upcoming uh, donators so they get an idea where they are on the list. Every time we announce we are taking donations for the penny boxes, we uh, jump out at least a month out. So I try not to get any farther than a month out. We're right on the verge of that now. And I think after how tired Hudson and I were, this Sunday that we're going to try to not do double headers after a uh, six hour, seven hour stream the night before. Can't wait, Crappy Tim. See what goodies you find in your penny box. They are always interesting. I think Hudson found four Indian head pennies yesterday and he found three silver dimes. Baseman found an 1899 Barber dime for our scoring system. That was a 50 pointer. And Hudson found like 350 wheat pennies in his box. Got a ton of wheat pennies. A bunch of old ones. <clears throat> Baseman had a 1909. Hudson had a 1910. 
and we uh, don't have time as we're going through those to check for varieties so some of those will be varieties you know others that I've shipped their coins to I think Ken can send he found some repunch mint marks and maybe a large date or a small date So there have been many varieties found in the boxes. I look for the obvious ones. Look for the 55 DDO, 58 DDO. Pennies are my main jam. I like hunting pennies. Uh, they're harder for me to see, obviously. My eyesight is not very good. I just almost can't do dimes at all. It takes me too long because they're so small and so hard to see. Uh, we buy from our bank every week uh, four boxes of pennies and five boxes of half dollars because usually Hudson and I will do box battles and search those and with school we haven't been able to do that so I've been accumulating boxes and I am up over 50 boxes of bank sealed pennies in the area or and 50 boxes of bank sealed nickels I did ship um, four boxes out today to one of our subscribers one of our members who uh, can't get them in their area and they're gonna search I shipped uh, six boxes the week before to another one of our subscribers and uh, he said I got an email back from him today that they got him and he and his son started and they found a buffalo nickel already in the first nickel box they were searching so they were having some good luck which is what Woozy would like to have right now in this half dollar box I'm sure Woozy is tired of seeing clad half dollars well here's your first fine woozy 2004 a 2004 DP NIFC you're on the board maybe that will be the start of something maybe just maybe that'll be the start of something. Yeah, I didn't intend to ever get that many, but they started surcharging me on half dollar boxes, and I'm afraid they're going to do it on pennies and nickels, because my first bank I had been getting everything for them was surcharging me on everything. And uh, so I thought I would just, while they weren't surcharging me, I'd go ahead and get a stash of penny and nickels. The pennies inventory doesn't hurt too bad but I never really intended to have five thousand dollars in nickels so uh, Hudson and I have a lot of box battles coming and thing is we do sell our bank uh, sealed pennies and nickels to subscribers um, at cost members have uh, the uh, get the first shot but I have so many right now I have a bunch we uh, do ship them at cost plus shipping and uh, insurance if you uh, buy a couple boxes of nickels but the insurance is only a few dollars because um, there's a lot of areas out there people can't get coins to search so we like to help people out and if I hadn't been doing that, I don't know how many pennies and nickels I would have. But a bunch more. I'm doing six pennies and was doing two halves, but nothing to find for three weeks. So switching to nickels and quarters. Giving the, giving the others a rest. A good thing to do. I've been seeing videos where people are doing better on their dimes and uh, quarters. Hudson and I searched a bunch of quarters and found just absolutely nothing. We kind of gave up on quarters. Haven't searched quarters in forever. And haven't searched dimes either, but that's pretty much by choice. We did find some silver dimes. 
I found a Merc dime. Well, I found seven eighths of a Merc dime. I had one that looked like it had a bite taken out of it. I found most of a Merc dime. The only Merc dime we've ever found. But we really like the nickels. All the possibilities in a box of nickels. So we'll eventually get through our nickels. But it's going to take a while. So I'm getting five a week and opening none a week. But I think we're going to try to get our entire family together for a week around the 4th of July. And Hudson's got some cousins that like to coin hunt too. So we'll set them out with the pennies and just let them go to town. They'll have a ball. Here's an 82P. But it's got an FG. Five dollars a box for pennies and seven for, yeah. That's what uh, my surcharge is, is uh, 15 cents a roll. So it's 7.50. Um, and when I was at the other bank, it was seven fifty for any any box. That's kind of hard to swallow on pennies. Kind of hard to swallow. When I ship them, two boxes of pennies or two boxes of nickels or a box of pennies and a box of nickels will fit in a medium flat rate priority box from the post office that costs. I think it's thirteen dollars and seventy five cents thirteen dollars and ninety cents to ship. And then I've got a little little bit in packing because otherwise the post office tears them up. That's true, Brian Rollins, except I don't have any dimes. They could see them. Last time they came down, I thought I had at that time, and it's been a year, year and a half now, right after Hudson and I just started, they were here for Christmas before last, and I thought I had a bunch of boxes, and they ate through those things quick. So, I don't know that they could do all 50 boxes of uh, pennies, but... Man, there's been a lot of 82s. That one's a D. They'll put a big dent in it, I bet. And then I'll be carrying pennies back to the bank and dumping those. Got 16 rolls left, Woozy. To ship the 2020 penny box to a guy in one. Yep. I do have full boxes of 2020 D pennies and 2021 nickels that I sell on eBay that I would sell to uh, any uh, one of our members at cost. And uh, we're, we sold several. We're selling them for uh, to down to $175 for the nickels now, the 2021s. But we were selling them for uh, $250 a box on eBay when they first came out, which is just crazy. I save a few boxes of each year since we started, in case the value goes nuts. They call it a wrapping charge. <laughs> what I'm told, close to opening, ah, I got a desktop tripod to hold my phone so I can video and the finds without shaking all over. Now to find that microscope. Okay, Avercourt. Avercourt did buy one of our mom and pop penny boxes in uh, the first auction, first time we ever uh, offered one for sale. And uh, he's been building and remodeling his man cave, which in his case is a man building. And uh, he's got those pennies sitting on the other side. Screaming at him, saying, Open me! Yep, 
the uh, box that we uh, sold in the last auction ever occurred. I think you probably heard the other day, but uh, had a flying eagle penny in it. The two that people have bought for their sons for their birthday have had flying eagle pennies in it, which are the first two flying eagle pennies that have been found in the boxes. Just crazy. Good night, Bill. Have a good evening. I wish I'd known about these since the start. <laughs> They're a lot of fun, Crappy Tim. They are a lot of fun. And when you see the Blazers in person, they look just surreal. You see a Wheat Penny, 1954, 55, 58 Wheat Penny that looks like it was just minted the day before they are beautiful We're going to take a Valentine's peanut round. Charlie Brown over the last 13 rolls to see if we can drag something out of Lucy's box. Because Lucy's box has given us one NIFC. Yeah, exactly, Crappy Tim. Those blazers. What I've got a book for myself, one for Hudson, and one for Rhett, and uh, none are full, but there are a lot of blazers in there. Another 82P. Got the FG, a 74D. Just like you never found it. Chocolate 94, another 82P, another FG. And uh, we've been finding a lot of 1960 blazers too that look real pretty in the book. 1960s all the way to 68 blazers. Hey Mike Pallet, good to see you or Palais. I think we've done this before and it might be Pallet, but I don't remember. Four sets of all for my grandkids and a set for my son. Very cool. That's how we, uh, when we started, I bought one book, and uh, Hudson, Rhett, and I would uh, open the pennies and search them and put them in the book, and then they each wanted their own book, then they each wanted their own box, <laughs> and it grew from there. You've got to catch Reddy in the right mood now for him to want to hunt. He is... Uh, Big time into video games. And he is taking Taekwondo lessons. Told me he was. At, Rhett's about three foot nothing. And I. For. He's small for his age. Um, eight year old. And he was telling me he was learning how to choke people out. Sadly, no Mikey. Yeah. Haven't found another Mikey. Yeah, Can Can uh, did get a box at the auction as well. And he did not get a Flying Eagle, though, or a Mikey. But he did get, like, a Netherlands Silver Dime. And those... Uh, the RPM and the varieties I was telling you about. And lots of blazers. And 
one of his videos, I don't know if it was a mail call video or if it ended up being a partial mail call video, but uh, Ken Ken happened to get his mom and pop penny box kind of, I think, right before or during he was doing his video and it turned into a, an opening and he started hunting and probably hunted about half the box or better uh, live. That was a really fun video. He was having some big time fun. So I'm anxious to see Avergert opening his pennies. Or his pennies. Yeah, his pennies. I know, I gotta focus on half dollars here, Woozy. Half dollars. Silver. Silver. DDO. Commemorative. Somebody wrote it all over that one. Why would you write all over it? I don't understand. That was fun, wasn't it, Heather? Hubby chubby. Chubby hubby. <laughs> I almost got it right. Yeah, I was waiting for part two. I was waiting for part two. Man. I thought maybe it was an omen that I had grabbed. TT10. does have a ton of 82s in it, but it's not got but one Nifty so far. I was looking at the wrong side of that coin, was he? The 73D. I'm not going to find anything on the back that helps me. Maybe that's the problem. Am I searching the wrong side of the coin? It could explain things. Copper gold. Yep. I'm going to have to search some nickels again on Coinsomniac one of these nights when I get caught up on uh, mulligans. Because I was doing nickels and we were having fun with those nickels. We were finding some war nickels. We were finding some buffaloes. We were doing some nickadating. Seven rolls left. Seven rolls left. Yeah, Janie, I think Nichols is Hudson's favorite thing to hunt, and I really enjoy hunting them too. And there's nothing better than hunting a hot half dollar box, but Nichols day in, day out, there's so many different things you can find. Another 82, another 82P, another FG. Well, an 82P, no FG would be a nice find. And we have found several of those. There's an odd amount of 82s in this box. A 55D for nickels. Let me think. A 55D. 55D. I gotta think and find my map. Where's my map? Where is my nickel map? You just go. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. My nickel mats disappeared. Harrow, have to borrow my. Oh, there it is. I do see it. It's upside down. A semi key date is a 55P. The 50D is a key date, and we're missing that one. 
It's one of the last two we're missing, but the 50P, I'm sorry, the 55P is the semi-key date. Yeah, 55D over S. Got one of those. <clears throat> yeah, that 50D we do not have yet. <clears throat> and the 30... 38 or 39D. No. Never can remember. We got two coins we're missing, and I bet it's in the house in one of those 50 boxes. Now the 50D might not be. Five rolls left. This is where we were the other night, and this is where we popped our 90. Deja vu, deja vu, very nice crappy Tim, 55p, 7.8 million minute, well I see a chunky one, it's neither silver nor a proof, it's a 94p, Another 82. There's a D. Fifty D two point six million minute, yeah. Those fifty D's are like hen's teeth. They are like hen's teeth. Something for Woozy? A little bit of anything? Woozy's like, I gave up sleep for this? I'm sorry, Woozy. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Just not doing. Uh, we could probably do that, Average Gert. I do think that uh, when our uh, mom and pop pennies finally end, when the supply runs out, I never know when that's going to be, that uh, that may change into a, uh, a versus challenge involving the subscribers. Like we did with Baseman the uh, other day. You would need to have a uh, webcam. And ideally a microscope to show your finds off. And I uh, was kind of thinking Hudson versus the world. But uh, I would not mind getting a piece of that as well. Love a box battle. Some of my favorite hunts have been box battles. Nickel box battles with Hudson. Two rolls left. What the Kennedy has written on. I, I just don't like it when people write on the half dollars. Only so many out there. I just assume they remained as pretty as they can. Last roll. 
last roll. TT10, you've been no good. You're going to have to have a really good roll to change that. Twenty twenty two Red Book is out now. Well, it's time for me to upgrade. Seventy three D. The Ring of Death. but it was a D. Wow. Woozy, and I apologize. That was just dang near awful. You have got one NIFC. Would you like the NIFC Woozy or would you like to trade it in for, normally that would be a War Nickel. Let's go at least to a Merc Dime. Would, yeah, darn, that was terrible. That was terrible. But I'll let you turn your uh, Nifsy into a Merc Dime if you want. Trade for a Merc. We'll start there. <clears throat> See what we've got for a Merc dime here. Got a 1944 P Merc dime. All right, let's see. We're going to do a flip. And uh, we are going to say that that is heads. And that is tails. And we are flipping for the 90 of your choice, Woozy. 90 of your choice. Heads or tails. Heads. Heads it is. Thank God the uh, coin flips have gone well tonight. What uh, what 90 would you like, Woozy? What 90 would you like? Yeah, that's, that's really our first... Uh, Real boom of the night. <laughs> A walker. All right. Let's see. What walker I can find for you. I got a bunch of them. See if I can find you an older one. Do that one. Let's just do that one. It's a forty four. It's not real old, but it's in good shape. Not real old. 
Yeah, it's only 77 years old. That's not real old. And it's an S Mint Mark. And also woozy. Because you got double skunked. I'm going to give you a little bonus. I'm going to give you a little bonus, Woozy. Because we really appreciate you and your support of our channel. You are getting a little bonus. A little bonus. This is the mini coin set. You've got the penny, the nickel, the dime. The Ike, the Kennedy, and the Quarter. There are their backs. They are baby coins. Don't try to spend them. They are baby coins. Also, you are getting the Indian Head Penny, the Buffalo Nickel, the Peace Dollar, the Merc Dime, the Standing Liberty Quarter, and there's another walker. That one's a 42. And there are the backs. So like I said, it's just a little bonus. But it's a little bonus for you, Woozy. Thank you for your support so very much. It is greatly appreciated. I'm sorry we did not. You always wanted a little change. Well, you got a little change. Let me put that in your envelope here with your nickel and your walker. Those are pretty cool. And we are going to do, we got 40 people in here. So... Let me see what we got over here. We will do that. And we will do that. We're going to have two prizes tonight. I usually only do one, and I'll hate myself come shipping time. I know I will. But since we didn't find much tonight, and that's an exaggeration, we're going to do two giveaways. Let me go ahead and get that started. Oh, where did my, uh, I've got a, I have to re-put up my Streamlabs. Give me a second. Won't take long. Because I accidentally shut it a while ago. We will get CloudBot up. We will get giveaways up. We will do that. All right. It is going to come up and say that a giveaway has started. Here's Sam CB. 20 might be sleeping. That's true, you all. This could be your best chance for a giveaway that uh, you've had. There it is. A Shindig Gall Raffle has started. If you would type exclamation raffle, exclamation raffle, R-A-F-F-L-E, just like Caveman 911 did, and I shipped Caveman 911 something today. Well, it's ready to go out tomorrow. And I will show you what we are going to be giving away. So, Coin Somniacs. It's now 420. First place, Coin Somniacs, 420, second place, all right, first place is going to be a forfeited prize from, uh, the 6th of April. A 1964 D 90% silver that Paul found on the 6th of April and tried to give it away once already 
and uh, did, and it went unclaimed. It went unclaimed. That is first place. Second place is going to be another mini set. The penny, the nickel, the dime, the Ike, the Kennedy, and the quarter, as well as the Indian head penny, the buffalo nickel, the Merc dime, the peace dollar, Ooh, that peace dollar could be a DDO. I don't think that helps the value any, but it certainly looks like a major DDO. If you're seeing what I'm seeing, that's an 1199-2222 peace dollar. A walking liberty and a standing liberty quarter. Thank you, Crappy Tim. There's your buffalo, the backs. Very cool backs. All right. Those are the two prizes. That's, that's, that's as big a DDO as you're going to see on a little coin, caveman. That is a big DDO. Now understand, those are not real currency. I don't portray them to be real currency. Those are baby coins. Goods and services for donor rolls? No. Uh, uh, yeah, goods and services always. Goods and services for donor rolls. Can, can. Goods and services. Thank you, Sam ZB. Let's see. Oh, the time is up. Did everyone get in? I don't see anyone else trying to get in, so I'm guessing everyone got in. So good luck. We're going to show you we're going to pick a winner this is the first place this is a 1964 d uh 90 kennedy good luck everybody fishing fool 1972 all right fishing fool 1972 now fishing fool you have to send me an email and you have to say, I want my prize, and uh, or I won the prize, and here's my address, so I can ship it to you. Because I've got a lot of people on these Coinsomniac streams not claiming their prize, which uh, surprises me. Now for second place for the baby coins, good luck everybody. K Titus, K Titus, you're going to have another package coming to Japan as soon as we get a little more in it. But congratulations, K. Titus. I hope the little kids don't eat those. But congratulations. You need to send me an email and claim your prize as well. I will get those shipped out. And congratulations, Fish and Fool. And congratulations, K. Titus. On your wins. So I need to put those up there. All right, real quick, and you guys can tell these people they've got a few more days to claim their prize, and I'm going to put them away. The people with unclaimed prizes right now Ring Ringmaster Ray, Adam Coles, nope, Adam Coles, never mind. That's set aside to send with your box this week. Hillbilly. Uh, Sam Seavey's taken care of, Mr. Victoria, R.D. Darnell, R.D. Darnell, I think you're here. Send me an email. You've got a second place coin Somniac that you have not claimed. And Ohio Coin Collector. Those are the ones with unclaimed prizes right now. So, uh, if you, uh, you still got time on those, I won't uh, reset those. Uh, for a bit yet, but uh, if you're that was your name or you know any of those folks, let them know. Uh, shoot me an email. Thank you, King Cam, for doing that. My email is on the screen there. Um, so that's the end of a coin somniacs. It must be 2 a.m. It is 2 09. 
Still got 37 people with us, but Paul is out of gas because I may try to do this again tomorrow night. I will definitely do this on Wednesday night if the creek don't rise, and you know how that goes. Wish we'd had more fines. Pretty ugly boxes tonight. One DDO and three Nipsies. Yuck. Yuck. Thank you to uh, our donators. Uh, sorry your mulligan boxes weren't better. Um, I wonder if you could get those mini coins. Oh, Paul Spare Time and Can Can Collectibles. I wonder if you could get those mini coins agreed. I don't know what you're saying, Joe Layton. But I like those mini coins. I'm going to try to get more. Um, I did buy everything the day I bought them that uh, they had. But I'm going to try to get more. One of our uh, members sent me a note and said he found them on eBay and they had some more. One Nifsy and TT10. E. So, thanks to my moderators. I appreciate you all. We will eventually get to your mulligan boxes. I promise. Thank you to our members in green. I appreciate you all very, very much. Uh, if you're ever in, interested in membership, uh, they start as low as 99 cents a month. You get some uh, extra emojis if I ever find silver that you can use and a special badge. Um, thank you to everyone that was up late watching with us. I appreciate all of you that were here, subscribers and guests alike. Thanks a ton. Thanks to the Super Chatters, that's greatly appreciated. Thanks to everyone that liked the video. Thank you very much. I will definitely be on with the Coinsomniac on Wednesday night. I may be on tomorrow night. I'm going to try to uh, weed through some boxes this week, get them back to the bank, because I've got so many, as you can see. We've got a lot, and there's silver in some of those, I guarantee it. I just don't know which ones. So, thank you all. Have a very, very good evening. Get some sleep. And we will see you again when Pa's got more spare time. Good night, everyone.